All right, we're going to solve this uh, inequality here. 3n plus 5 is bigger than or equal to n. We're going to find the solution set. We're going to show that solution set on a number line and then work out the smallest integer value that satisfies the inequality. Now, we just treat it as if it were an equation. Uh, find the smallest number of unknowns on both sides. We've got 3n's here, 1n here. That's the smallest. So we'll remove that from both sides, leaving us with 2n plus 5 is bigger than or equal to 0. Next, remove the uh, 5 by subtracting 5 from both sides. 2n is bigger than or equal to minus 5. And then finally, divide by 2 on both sides to give us n is bigger than or equal to minus 5 over 2. You could do that as a decimal if you want to get minus 2.5. Now, once you've got that, to show this on a number line, we draw the number line out. Often in the exam, that will be given to you. You don't need to do this. So if it doesn't, sketch it out very quickly. Minus 2.5 is roughly there. If it looks like this, just bigger than minus 2.5, we leave the circle empty. It's bigger than or equal to, fill it in. We want bigger than or equal to, so our line heads off in that direction. Our smallest integer value. OK, let's start here. First, you've got to remember what integer means. Integer is a whole number. So we start here and we follow our line until we get to the first whole number. There it is, minus 2. So our smallest integer value that satisfies the inequality is minus 2. So that's how you do it. Some people might have started this uh, inequality slightly different at the top. Um, it's worth having a look at that because there's a slight trick you need to bring into what you do. Just make sure you get the right solution. So some people would say, OK, let's remove the 3n from both sides. So it looks like this. And we end up with 5. It's bigger than or equal to n. Take away 3n minus 2n. And the next thing they would do is divide by minus 2. Nothing wrong with that. Minus 5 over 2. Now, because we're dividing by a negative number, this sign has to change around. We end up with that there, which is the same solution as we had before. n is bigger than or equal to minus 5 over 2. A lot of the time when people do it this way, they forget that the division by a negative number means the sign has to change round, which is why I would always deal with removing the smallest number of unknowns from both sides. So there you have it.